Welcome back, Goddess of Genesis fam. And what I'm doing here is I am farming Grand Archives level 2, or I'm sorry, Grand Archives 2 level 45. And if you ever get a triple Merlin party like what we have here, it is, it is a thing of beauty, man. This is just look at the faces you can melt with three Merlins because of her passive. Every time there's an AoE, Merlin throws in some extra damage. And when you've got three of them, that's a lot of extra damage and faces are gonna melt, let me tell you. So the reason I'm in Grand Archives level 45 is not because my character is 45. I'm actually 46. Oh, there I go, autoing, auto spending my stamina, which is good. Um, anyway, the reason I'm in Grand Archives 2 is the drops. In particular, I'm looking to farm the silver books because you need a ton of them to level up the second page of the mage tree in your packs. And you need to get your mage level, overall level, to level six before you can open the third page of the mage tree. So you're gonna need a ton of silver books. And initially I was farming level 35 because if you look at the, at the level select screen, it looks like 35 gives you the best chance of giving silver drops, but in reality, what I found is when I was farming level 35, you only get like maybe one silver book a run, and sometimes you don't even get any. And then anytime you get a co-op bonus in level 35, it's gonna be bronze materials, which you don't need. They're kind of worthless. But if you jump up to level 45, your co-op bonuses are gonna start being silver books, which is what you want. And you can regularly get like three to five silver books. So like if you look, like on this particular run, I hope I'm not made a liar by the award screen. But see, there, there's two silver books, which isn't that great, but it's more than one. And as you saw, I also got three gold materials. So at, at this particular level, you're farming gold as well as silver, so that when you get to page three, you're going to have a bunch of gold materials that you've farmed as well. So 45 is the place to be. Uh, one thing you should know about level 45 in particular in Grand Archives 2 is the enemies are immune to physical damage, so you can only hit them with magic damage. And the queen of magic damage, obviously, is Merlin. So if you can find this, if you can find a triple Merlin party where you just melt everyone's face anytime anyone throws an AoE out... So here, look, I, I got a much more silver books on that run. But if you can get a triple Merlin party like what we have here, it is just... It's so beautiful. It, it's so great to watch those faces just melt away like that. Oh wait, I gotta jump in here. You gotta, you don't have to, but if you're paying attention, you'll see that sometimes when people jump in and out, it'll automatically place a, a character in for you. So like there, it almost gave me Lilith, who would have done no damage because she's a physical attacker and physical attackers don't deal any damage on this map, so. I mean, it, it helps to babysit a little bit, even though you don't have to. Because eventually we would have won, it just wouldn't have been as effective. But yeah, Grand 45, the place to... Grand Archives 2, level 45, the place to be if you want to farm your silver and gold mats. And right now I'm farming mages. And I have to say, with probably in two days, when this comes back, I'm going to be farming uh, the ranger tree, because I got Artemis and her ranger tree needs a lot of work. I actually need those bronze materials. So you're gonna see me in level 45 ranger in about two days, whenever Grand Archive 2 comes back. And feel free to join, I'm on the Endless Light server. Otherwise, start your own Grand 45. Hope you can find a good Merlin party because you will just melt away all those enemies and you'll be swimming in silver materials. So good luck, have fun. I hope you're able to find a bunch of Merlins out there.